Good morning, I'm off the mark. As you've just seen, I returned the roach and within five seconds, a pike had taken it, got it in its mouth and then was going off into the deeper water. I'll start returning any other fish I catch elsewhere. I don't mind pike eating roach, of course, but I prefer them to catch the rowan because when you return a fish, just for a moment or two, it's a little bit dazed so it does give the pike an unfair advantage it's great when they take diseased old dying fish because that's part of the natural process very entrepreneurial though i'll give that to the pike and talking of being an entrepreneur i've had three more ends as soon as i arrived come round me after sweet corn i've been feeding them been here a couple of times recently with sweet corn and I've been feeding more ends and they know as so, soon as, not necessarily me as an individual, but as soon as someone sits down there that there's food on the menu. They're very good, aren't they? Creatures of the natural world in picking up habits, certainly when it involves food. It's been slow, but as you can see from the bend in the rod, I've just hooked into something that's significant. Am I going to land it though? I'm not sure about this, you know, because it's taken me deep into lilies. And I am quite tangled and I can see how far into the lilies I am because as I pull, you can see all the, the pads moving I'll tell you what, I'm stuck at the moment. So what I need to do, it's a nice bend in the rod, by the way. <laughs> if, I don't, uh, if I don't get this one out, I think I might at least have, uh, have this as a lead image. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to just put the rod down and wait for things to develop naturally. I think the fish is still on though. I'll be back with a, an update. <laughs> I'm not sure though whether I'll be back with a fish. The final report is fish one, me, nil. I did get everything back though, including the hook. So that's good, nothing trailing in the fish's mouth. And the fish itself is wondering what's going on. And I'm thinking, I'll be back. At the very least, that was a good tench, but most probably a carp. Not a big one, because it is a small pond pool that I've been on this morning, but everything's relative. And when you lose a fish like that, it can have one of two effects on you as an angler. Number one, it can make you despondent and discouraged. Or secondly, in my case, it can make me even more determined to come back and catch something that has eluded me this time round. Tight lines if you're out and about yourself this week.